Hey you guys, what's up? This is Dakota from Dental Pro. Welcome to the video. I want to talk to you about how I was able to get into dental school. I can get into dental school, you can get into dental school. So here it goes. One of the things you guys probably want to find out is how good was I uh, on my stats. So what was my GPA? What was my DAT score? What were my service hours? Those kinds of things. So let's let's look at those together. Just starting off, I'm gonna post my GPA scores that were from my AdSAS. I'm just gonna put them right here. As you're looking at them, you can see that I had an average GPA of 3.76, um, which is fairly competitive, but it's not like over the top or anything like that. But my science GPA was actually a very important one as well. It was actually somehow I made it to where I was able to get a little bit higher than my average GPA, which isn't typical. My science GPA was a 3.78. It's not a, a, a low GPA, but it's also not a super high GPA. I want to throw that out there that it's not extremely important that you have like a 4.0 GPA. So that's my GPA. As far as my dad score goes, my academic average was a 19. So once again, 19 is kind of like the low end of the accepting average uh, for, for a dad score. So once again, it wasn't really like way out there. It wasn't like a 21 or a 22 or anything like that, but it was still competitive enough to get looked at. And I think that's one of the important things that you need to look at is, uh, is my score gonna allow me to get looked at by certain schools? So keep that in mind when you're studying for the DAT. I don't think you should get below 19 and apply. Um, otherwise, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure, in my opinion. Now, that's not going to be the same for everybody. There's there are students that get accepted to dental school with lower scores, and there's also students that get accepted to the exact same school with much higher scores. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have as far as my grades go. If you want to um, hear more about what I what I had on the DAT and that kind of thing, let me know. Post post any questions below as far as if you want more information about um, my scores and and I'll talk to you about it. As far as other other things that are important, let's take a look here. So I'm actually looking at my AdSAS right now just to give you an idea of everything else as far as service hours, work experience, all that stuff. So on my cover letter for the AdSAS, I put down under dentistry experience, I actually had over 2,000 hours of dental experience because I worked in a dental office. I would say that that benefited me a lot, um, was actually working in a dental office. So yeah, two, over 2,000 hours of dental experience. As far as uh, volunteer service, I had just over 400 hours in that category. Work experience, this is not including my dental experience, actually working in a dental office. This was other work experience that I did while I was in um, my undergrad. I had about 2,500 hours of work experience. Uh, research experience, I really didn't have anything. Take that into consideration. Sometimes there's schools that really like uh, that students have research, but I didn't really have any. So yeah, it's not really that important, but it might be for the school that you want to get accepted to. So keep that in mind. Oh yeah, another thing is my major uh, might be something that'd be interesting to talk about. So my major for my undergrad is I studied human biology. Now everybody's gonna have different majors and everybody's gonna tell you different things, but from my findings, what I've been able to figure out is your major doesn't really matter too much when it comes to what dental schools want. I think they wanna see that you're getting good grades no matter what. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of um, variety, so you don't have to have biology. For me, I really liked biology, and so that's why I chose it. It kinda of helped me as well because, you know, not only was I studying something that I enjoyed, but it also helped me with preparing for the DAT because there's the biology section, um, and, you know, I did fairly well on that, um, so yeah. I think the last thing, another thing that's really important um, is I worked really hard on my personal statement. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're applying to dental school. So I think that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something from it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post that in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Keep living the dream.